Hi. Uh, okay, so back at this uh, thread, we've had um, a whole bunch of discussion happen, 154 replies, but there was one here from Rhonda yesterday afternoon or last night, uh, where she has actually given a suggestion. God, it's so so many things being said. Um, where she's actually suggested uh, what you can do to get your Google Calendar added to the web page. So what I thought I'd do is share this video with you very quickly uh, because it will give you a good idea of uh, what you can do. But then I thought I'd share what else you can chuck onto your um, standard web page, your, home, your new home page that you create using this setup. So let's have a look at what Rhonda had to say first and then we will... Uh, just sharing another thing that you could possibly add to your site if you're using one of Stu's awesome sites as your browser landing page at school. So if your school is using a Google Calendar, um, you can actually embed the, inge the agenda in there. So our school uses a Google Calendar and um, in my, my program, I use Google Sites for my program, um, I embed the calendar straight into it. So you head over to your Google Calendar, um, the one that you want to embed, you just click on the dots, settings um, and sharing. And then you scroll down to the bit that says integrate calendar. Um, so you just grab the public URL link, control C, you head over to here, control V. It picks up that calendar and it embeds it as an agenda. So if you come up here, you can pop it there, make it longer if you've got lots of things. And then um, your staff will have nice quick um, access to what's happening at school. So yeah, hope it helps. What a great idea, Rhonda. Thank you very much for sharing that. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people will want to add their Google Calendar to their homepage. But I thought, um, what else could you add to the homepage that could make it uh, something that's interesting and, and useful? It's not just a bunch of links and that maybe people will go to and have a look at. So um, let's jump in and I will quickly demonstrate for you something really cool. So this is uh, my student test page that um, I created before. And what I want to do is add a new widget to it. What's the widget? Let's go here. There's something called weatherwidget.io. Really cool, little free, customizable, responsible weather, responsive weather widget that always matches your website. Well, let's see if it does. Select your location. I'm in Sydney. And it says Sydney where? Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. And it picks all that up and it automatically gives you the week's temperature and uh, an idea of what the weather's going to be like. Well, that's pretty good. It says here, drag the border to preview the widget in different sizes. So it automatically is going to resize according to the screen that it gets attached to. So that's pretty cool. See that? Um, so what do you then do? You then grab this little button here that says get code. Uh, and if we click on that, it shows all of this code on your screen. A lot of gobbledygook. Who cares what it says? Just click, click, click copy to clipboard and that's now done you can close that go back to your website scroll down here to this white space at the bottom double click it and then you've got an option here that says embed and guess what you put in here under embed code you paste control V all of that stuff and then you go next I'll wait before that you just yep yeah, that's fine then you go next and it says Ah, I think that's Sydney weather and that's what it's going to look like. Cool. Insert that. And it chucks it at the bottom here, makes it look like that. Now, I don't want it to look like that. I want it to be as wide as the screen. So I'm going to stretch it across. Oops, not that far. That's as far as it snapped to. And I don't want it to be that tall, so I'm going to shrink it up. So something like that. And the other thing is, I don't want it to be right at the bottom because nobody's going to scroll all the way to the bottom to see it. I want it to be at the top. So I'm going to grab it and drag it all the way to the top and put it just, see that blue line there that's in between the header and the first slot? Put it there and it's going to chuck it in there. I can choose to leave it white so it's the same as, or so it's just an original. Or if I go to color here, 
I can choose this one called Emphasis 2, and now it looks like the rest of the page. So this is dynamic, it's going to change as the time changes, but it's always going to show me the Sydney weather, and I can choose any place in Australia, and it will show me the latest weather and the weather forecast coming ahead. So that is a nice little widget that you can plug in, and there's a whole bunch of other ones you can have um, as well if you want to go searching for them, or maybe I'll create some videos. But um, that's another one to go along with the one that Rhonda shared with us. Thanks again very much, Rhonda. See you later.